At least eight tornadoes were reported in the Chicago area last night. Holy Dozens of homes and businesses damaged, the debris littering parking lots, car windows smashed, the side of this building gone. The city's airports facing ground stops. Video shows hundreds of people taking shelter in this concourse at O'Hare Airport and this video from a traveler inside Midway Airport. Oh my God. Showing a twister taking shape just past the runways. Those storms shifting east overnight. People across Vermont have been racing to clean up from this week's disastrous floods before more rain arrives today. Thousands of people have lost homes and businesses. The recovery could take years, if not decades. And storms are in the forecast for the next seven days with four more inches of rain possible. This may not be over. With rain in the forecast and nowhere for it to go, we could see waters rise again. Meanwhile, forecasters are warning of dire consequences from the extreme heat across the south and the west. Triple-digit temperatures will stretch from Florida to California today. Phoenix will mark its 14th consecutive day of 110 degrees or above. Heat-related illnesses nationwide have more than doubled in the last month. Places, including Miami-Dade County, Los Angeles, and Phoenix, have recently appointed chief heat officers, a city official who does everything from establish cooling centers, install more A.C. in public housing, and plant more trees to cool the streets. Now the mayor of Phoenix is calling on the Biden administration to appoint a federal heat officer. One possible tool to fight climate change? Paint. Scientists at Purdue have created a white paint that's so white, they say it can reduce the surface temperature on a roof by up to 19 degrees by reflecting 98% of the sun's rays. It could be available by next year. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.